30 years ago, what was the richest country in Latin America? Venezuela. What happened to make the richest country in Latin America on a per capita GDP basis the poorest country in Latin America? Basically socialism, not just the oil industry. They took over the entire supply chain of food. They, they collectivized farming. They did a bunch of things. They basically embraced statism, socialism, fascism, however you want to call it. They embraced it. State control of the means of production in one form or another. Went from the richest country in Latin America to the poorest. Who was the poorest country in Latin America 30 years ago? Poorer than Nicaragua 30 years ago, 30, 40 years ago. Chile. Who's the richest country in Latin America today? Chile. Why? How did they go from poorest to richest? They did exactly the opposite of what Venezuela did. They embraced capitalism. Elements of it, not as pure as I would like, not as free as I would want. But even a little bit of capitalism goes a long way. They privatized, they deregulated, they lowered taxes. They took all those companies that own the natural resources and privatized them. And Chilean economy went like that. So Chile, here's a country, Chile, who's become the richest country in Latin America because they embraced elements of capitalism. Venezuela became the poorest country in Latin America because they embraced socialist principles. What do you think the people of Latin America want? Capitalism or socialism? Do they want to be rich or do they want to be poor? Well, by every indication, they want to be poor. Because in the last round of voting, with the exception of Argentina, every single country in Latin America voted for socialists. Now that's head scratching and weird and bizarre. How can that be? People don't really want to be poor, and yet somehow they can't bring themselves to vote for capitalism. Even in Chile, where they've first handedly experienced this, the last presidential vote, I think it's two and a half years ago, three years ago, they voted in a socialist to undo all the things that made them rich so they could become poor again. Of course, that's not how they think about it, but that's the consequence. So we have to ask ourselves. What is the appeal of socialism? And what is it about capitalism that so repels us? It's not whether it works or not. People pretend it is. I mean, Paul Krugman pretend cap pretends capitalism doesn't work. He knows better. Almost all economists do. But why pretend? Why not just advocate for the thing that makes us rich? You'd think that would be straightforward and simple. American economic growth rates have declined systematically as we become more statist, as we become more interventionist, as we have moved away from capitalism. That happens, again, in every country you can see out there. The fact that capitalism works and it's a huge success is, should be obvious.